Sukin and Roskin both out injured. The 13th man, Ivan Ovchinikov, comes onto the bench. Damian Schneider out of Argentina has the whistle for this one. So the winner will play Uganda in the trophy semi finals. Climbing high there for Spain is Ignacio Martin. And here comes Paul Pla, all action in midfield. One of the players that featured in that qualifying final in Hong Kong earlier in the year when they beat Germany to reinstate their coronation status after a four year absence. Javier Carry on man there in the 11 shirt who actually scored in that final. Is Pla, Pablo Fontes, Genoa the captain to Martin. Basketball pass over to Carry on again. Thinks better of taking on the Russian winger. Finds a way through. Does carry on? Oh, that's really clever from carry on. Really good feet. Kept his balance. Saw the gap and snuck straight through. The Spanish really are carrying on their form from yesterday. Three really strong games. And that is fantastic footwork. To beat a sweeper that easily just shows how capable carry on his finishing there lovely step when you stop in seven so do the defense he goes back against it where he's come from and that's a lovely right foot step there Javier carry on good start from him conversion attempt from Genoa is successful so they go to an early seven points then they'll lead his Spain over Russia they did have a good day yesterday Difficult early match against England, falling in 28-0, but then just a five-point defeat to Scotland, 26-21, and then a two-point loss to France. So they were right in. Sorry, they beat France by two points. So they were right in that pool yesterday. And things have gone a little more differently for them. They might have found themselves in the, the main draw on day two. It's over. Here's Igor Genoa again. Decides to switch the play back to the try scorer. Carry on again. He looks for that gap and the offload as well. Oh, Spain are running hot here and they're in again. It's Pol Pla. And Russia are chasing shadows right now. The Spaniards have woken up here on day two and they've got their A game going. Well, Pla, another one of these experienced Spanish players, been around a long, long time, as well as Martin and this team. But it's all about carry on again, getting in behind. Once this offload goes, that's the lovely ball. You're in behind the defence. Support play there on the outside to Pla. Great play. I mean, the chances are, you've got to think that Spanish are going to lose more games than they win, but it's about their performances. It's about how they continue this form, and they've always got a chance. Yeah, head coach Pablo Feju seems to have done an excellent job with this Spanish side in the off-season. really important player in Russia well they're going to need to find something here as the clock ticks down towards the final three minutes of this first half 14 nil the score now high kickoff he's been knocked backwards says the referee so we'll play on release play now the seven release gets his knees to the floor so the defenders have to release First time Russia on the ball now. They're taking their time. Looking to find their main man, their talisman, their captain, their leader, Ostrushko. Give him the ball and things happen. Babayev gets us started. Nice little dummy there from Filatov. One of several players from the Kuban club. Specialist sevens rugby club, Kuban. Many of these... Russian players play for but dominated the breakdown there and came up with the mistake yeah it's an error actually for Masi number six this stays a tackle until the knee hits the floor but as soon as you see number six Masi hits that it becomes a maul it then collapses a turnover if he had stayed out the knee hit the floor it would have been great play from Russia conversely Spain now back with a pill Fine. Set. 
Sneaking down the short side is Pablo Fontes. That's Javier Dewan playing scrum half, and they fling it out the far side. There's carry on again. He's got Paul Plar, and every time he gets on the ball, Paul Plar seems to add a bit of zip, a bit of space to this Spanish side. Playing keep ball well, that's Martin. But that time the penalty goes Russia's way. Well, Strushko there showed he's not all about attack, about wrestling with a bear with him over the ball. He got no chance. See when he gets over it, so difficult to move him, makes a tackle, throws him to the ground, and then his first action release, you are not moving that man. Good tournament for the Russian women here in Dubai. They picked up the bronze medal yesterday, beat Canada in the third place playoff. Men's team not having as much joy with the results. Three losses on day one, looking for their first win here, and they're under the pump, 14-0. Trying to play out from their own 22. Here's Bondarenko. Bondarenko's got some pace. Fontes runs him down eventually. We'll try and recycle the ball here. Touch judge. Flag is up. The ball's run over the line, but it'll be a Russian throw. I'm not quite sure he's worked that one out there, because clearly the Russians were in possession. But He's closer than we are, Rupert. They go quickly. Here's a Strushko. Two against two. The referee says they've got to come back and set it. Line out was formed. So Ilya Babayev. Close this line out, but it's gone way left. <laughs> Penalty eventually comes to Spain, but I thought the, the line out was probably skew with in the first place. Hey ho, we carry on. Here comes Spain. That was the hooter for half time. Well, they get another try just before the break. Fontes regathers his own chip. They've got some numbers here, Spain. Can they make it work and pick up a third try? This is Javier Dewan running into contact. Igor Genoa is captain. Plays scrum half, thinks about a sneak down the short side, goes open, carry on, flings it out to Sainz Trapanga. Sainz Trapanga, top tackle for Spain on day one. He flicks it inside, and it's just been knocked on by Ignacio Martin. They've got the penalty anyway. They'll have a free hit at it. And here they go, Spain. Oh, stepping through is the skipper, Igor Genoa. That is Spain's third try. And they will go to the break with even bigger smiles on Spanish faces. Well, what footwork there, Genoa. He tied Filatov in knots. Look at that. What a finish. That's great play from the captain. Yeah, well done from the skipper. Three tries for Spain, converts his own try, and they are well in control of this trophy quarter-final. They are dominating Russia here by 21 points to nil. Así que atentos, ¿vale? 
This is the voice of Pablo Feiju. Spanish rugby legend played 64 times for the Spanish 15 aside team and also the former captain led them all the way to the Rio Olympics last year in his final year playing sevens for his nation and that's a confident huddle you can see leading Russia by 21 points to nil ironically Spain here dominating Russia in this game won't be at the sevens rugby world cup in San Francisco next year haven't qualified but Russia have Russia of course former hosts at the Sevens Rugby World Cup back in 2013 in Moscow. If Russia are going to feature in terms of results at that World Cup. What do you think they've got to do, Rob Vickerman? Because at the moment, they seem to be starting this season perhaps not quite at their best. Exactly that. They need the ball first and foremost in this game, but they've just got to start playing to their strengths a bit more. You've got to use the fact that Ostrushko is one of the best attackers on this World Series. He could be the heartbeat of everything. Babayev feeds off it, as does Filatov. And get those guys in the game, they've got a chance. Well, they kick long. They'll trust their defence. And Spain, happy enough to play keep ball again and make Russia do all the tackling. They're having to do that here. Offload out the back, goes to the floor, but they pick it up. Here's Fontes. Flings it out to Sainz Trapanga. He decides to chip it in behind. No sweeper for Russia. And Polplar's onto it. He's got all the time into the world. He can chip it through. Fall on the ball. And that was too easy for Spain. Far too simple. It was seven up for Russia. And Spain found the space. Well, the Spanish often known for their footballing abilities. And that's great vision. Puts it on the toe, Sans Chapaga. Pla easily gets on the outside of the Russian defence and has time to bobble it a little bit, have a watch, and the dive on it at the end. Safe finish, great vision. Why wouldn't you adopt a, a sweeper in this situation, Rob? Are you just trying to press, trying to force a mistake, keep everyone up? Yeah, exactly that. When you have seven men in the line, it's a lot more pressure on the attack. Conversely, if it's turnover ball, you don't have time to get someone back. It's a lot of space in the backfield. You've got to be aware, often teams have their outside men doubling up as sweepers, but there, the Russians weren't on it. 26-0. Spain lead in this trophy quarter-final. The winner will go on to play Argentina in the semi later today here. In Dubai. Much more favourable conditions here today. Bit of cloud cover, not as hot as we had yesterday. It really was stifling out there, and the players will be grateful for that as we move on. Looking forward to the, the Cup quarterfinals that are coming your way shortly. South Africa, Samoa up first. Fiji, Scotland after that. New Zealand, Kenya. And then England, Australia, as Andre Sorokin looks on Intensive with his team down 26 points to nil against Spain. It's going to be a long, hard road for both of these teams to maintain their core nation status. But on this evidence, even more so for Russia. Here comes Spain again. Not quite on point that time. Ball stays in field. They can come again. Jake Carter. Paul Pla. Decides to back his pace around the outside. Defensive responsibilities there from Bondarenko. And he's up to it as Sergei. Well, he's always going to challenge the outside. He's an adept when he gets ball in hand play. But that is great tackling. Look at that. Drives right through. Keeps on going. Easily makes the touchline as the extra defender. What a great hit there, Bondarenko. Good to see a winger take his opposite on, though. Sometimes you see players cut inside too much in the game of sense for fear of running over the line, but it's nice to see them back themselves and have a go. Thought Carl and Isles could have done that a couple of times yesterday for the USA 7 scene when he was in a bit of space. Almost played it too safe. Here come Russia. No point in this game yet. And they've stolen at Spain. Ball changes hands again. Knock on from Spain that time. So advantage Russia. And a 
double knock on it'll be a scrum I certainly think having seen what the Spanish have been capable of in their performances yesterday and today they've got to aim a little bit higher than just survival I think they can take a few teams down they've got a great passing game and put a few experienced players in Same off. you've got a real chance they work so hard to get on the series so hard and that Hong Kong finale was spectacular you want to enjoy your travels on the World 7 Series. Travelling the world playing rugby, what an opportunity for these young Spanish men. Throat. Such a cutthroat tournament that, isn't Five. it? The qualifying tournament in Hong Kong. Ten. Germany, probably favourites going into that final against Spain. Didn't really play their best in it. Still could have won it regardless, and Spain found something. Carry on. Ran 50 metres for a key try in that match, and here they are back in the top tier of sevens been a bit of talk in the back rooms and chat rooms around the seven scene about perhaps one day there'll be tier one and tier two across the season in sevens with proper promotion relegation across the course of a season that's all yet to play out but Spain for the meantime are in the big show and they're putting on a show here Jacobo Martin in the corner and they're through 30 points now. This is a masterclass from the Spanish servants. Well, Martin gets it, but it all comes from the back pocket play. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant shot there to see Hernandez pickpocketing the Russians in the middle. Jake Carter shifted the ball, beating three men. Numbers out wide, all too easy now. Simple hands as it goes round. And it's well finished, isn't it? Good put down in the corner. Jacobo Martin made his debut on the Gold Coast. The old Gold Coast Sevens back in 2013. He hasn't played a lot of Sevens. Back in the team, his last Sevens event was in London way back in 2014. So rejuvenating, restarting his Sevens career. Inside the last 90 seconds here, we've got a slight delay for this conversion to happen. There's a 30 second limit now on conversions, but there was a pause with the Russian players in the way. He had a loophole. If it went up to the TMO, which I believe this did, there must have been some referral from the touch, should look at his right foot there, perhaps understandable. The kicker will be in position, so he took all 30 seconds there rather than having to rush the kick as normally happens. Who can blame him as the sun comes out here? It's just about 5 to 11 here on Saturday morning in Dubai. Let's get warm very quickly when those clouds disappear. Alejandro Alonso almost had that retained from the restart for Spain. Such a crucial part of the game, of course, the restarts. White. Speculator trying to throw it back inside, but gets the ball back. The Russians hand batted it, then back out. So the Spanish again going from their set piece, and they do like a line out move. So, closing stage of this trophy quarter final Spain leading Russia by 31 points to nil. Looking very efficient here on finals day in Dubai. Running over the sideline there, though. Putting his hand up is the. Russian defender Bondarenko, I think he might have pulled a hammy in that tackle. Well, that is poor attack. You're getting a blank canvas to do any type of move you want, and the winger gets it, tries to go on the outside, then gets thrown into touch. So we're into the final play. Babayev will feed the line out. It's been a difficult first up game here for Russia. Failing to score a point, only picked up two tries yesterday, all day. So they, unless they can find something here, that was the final hooter you heard. They're going to go scoreless in their opener here on finals day. Here's Ostrushko, tries to get the pass away. Comes off a Spanish hand. They've got some numbers here on the near side, if they can shift it quickly. Ostrushko tries to do that. 
cut out ball, but it's gone way forward. Four or five. Perhaps pretty succinctly sums up Russia's morning here. They have been ridden roughly.